Welcome to part 5 of the Sonic Adventure Let's Play. Hey, sorry that I skipped that cutscene. I, uh, I do so apologize for that. I can't rewatch cutscenes, so. Hopefully, this doesn't happen again. Although, I highly you think this is gonna happen. But nonetheless, we are now in the second act of Sky Chase. He's, and, well. Not, it's really, it's really not much different from the first Sky Chase. This mini game that we played. It, although, the sky, it's really cloudy, so, like a storm, so, that's something, right? Like, that, although it is a cosmetic change. Oh yeah, and you also have more stuff coming at you. I actually take huge damage here. Here, and I fail at a really easy boss. Let's just be happy. He, although, spoiler alert, I don't die, so... I'm just letting you guys know of that right now. It's but again, it's there's really not much. It's really not much different and from the well original from the first guy chase. He's so yeah, might as well talk talk about another thing. Well, right after right after this scene right here. Here so. We got a little, we got a little change in, uh, well, plane design. We don't, it's only a change in plane design. We don't get hit missile barrages or any attack, any new attack. It's just a design change. Later on, it does have more use in Adventure 2, but let's not go into detail right now until we get there anyway. But, uh, might as well talk about out the Chow Garden. And introduced in Sonic Adventure 1. And, and well ended in Sonic Adventure 2. There is a Chow Garden. You may have noticed when. And I destroy Badniks. I get animals. Well, you can actually use those animals. Well, to actually give to your Chow. And well it will grow personality. So. It's really, it's really Tom. It's really Sonic's take on the, you know, Tamagotchi, Tamagotchi craze. He's, I never personally, I never really liked the Chow Garden to be. I never really liked the Chow Garden in SA One, uh, and I'll say this right now that Adventure Two improved. It actually kind of improved it, and I actually went back to it more often than Adventure One. But I'm gonna be showing that off in, in an extra video as well. But now we have the very easy boss that I, I constantly fail at. Hey, look, my health is lowering. I think there's a giant laser that it shoots. The best advice that I end this fight quicker is, is I just lock on onto the eye-shaped laser, and then I just, as well, fire that lock, fire that, fire that lock-on missile as well as other shots. Apparently the game has decided to stop firing missiles because as well I guess it's playing fair for once. It's, oh boy. The yeah, end uh Yeah, this is how the fight goes. Just avoid his laser and shoot it when shoot it when the uh shoot it when the uh, laser cannon is exposed. Yeah, that's the boss fight. And I took and I lost more and I lost so much health than necessary. I should have practiced a bit more. I practiced on all the Sonic stages for the sake of this let's play, but not in, but not anything else. I am horrible at practicing. But now that but now we are actually on the egg carrier, meaning that we don't get shot down. And apparently, he tells us forgotten to put landing gear er, on on the tornado too. Well, why doesn't he change form during in, before or he got to the uh, oh I don't know egg carrier? He could have changed form since before you know. 
like after he shot down the cannon. Ah, oh well. Again, that's pretty awkward lip syncing and voice acting. I think so. When we move forward, we actually get a little cutscene and leading to a stage that we have to go through. Oh yeah, get used to that line later on when you play this game. He's be let's just say he's gonna be saying that a lot, and it's gonna be one of his trademark lines. And so, hmm. <laughs> and apparently, he Sonic didn't listen to Tails, and well. We have to go through a stage that I kind of don't like in this game, really. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Egg Eggman, you're a genius. As you just mentioned, the only way through who to the upper deck, mean the area where you're at, and you just mentioned it, the Sonic. How much is his IQ again? Now whatever, but now we have Sky Deck, and we first start off by getting shot into a cannon and onto these cylindrical objects. And Sonic will automatically magnetize to these to these things, so you don't have to worry about you know missing. But Sky Deck, the reason why it's my least favorite stage in this game, well, one thing you're over a huge bottomless pit. I mean, obviously you're in the sky, but it, like. Well, this is the first section. You're pretty much like over. You're pretty much under the egg carrier, but also, uh, you actually remember when? Remember when I mentioned? Oh yeah, here's a fail right here. I didn't bother to turn the camera. That was my fault. I'm not. I'm actually not editing out any deaths. It's time. I'm actually showing my failures. This, but what? Why didn't I grab onto that? But then we... But... Remember when I was talking about... How earlier that, you know, you'll stick to objects? Like you'll get glued onto the sides? Yeah, yeah, it'll happen in Windy Valley. And I... And I let go... Oh, before I actually... Before the hook was over the platform. That was a dumb choice of mine. So I decided to just... Is take my time. But yeah, this is what I, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh it's really apparent in this stage. Like you're gonna glue on onto the sides a lot in this stage, and I do mean a lot. And so just be careful. Oh This level is just screwing with my controls tremendously. And I got worried about the spike ball. Because, you know, you lose rings. And I tried to do the shortcut. I fail. Also, I'm actually going to show it off again. This time do it right. Let's see. See if I get it right. Yeah, I get it right. It, this is the way I generally go. Oh, whenever I complete the stage. It's so, and I died because I didn't have any rings on me. Ah, uh, so, and I missed it again. Yeah, this is pretty much. This is where we pretty much spend the rest of this part here, guys. Is in this one stage, not in this particular section, but it's in this. It's in this stage as a whole. So, well, there's not going to be much, much else going on. But now we have this area where, obviously, there's a turret, there's a cannon. You don't, don't want to get, you don't want get hit by the cannon. Well, actually, it's not the, actually, you're not getting hit by the cannon. The cannon is actually aiming for the bridge that you're on, so you got to be quick. My recommendation, when you're near the end of these bridges, is spin dash across. 
I was keep the analog stick steady, and I almost died there. This, but this way you'll actually make it to the end before, or the cannon fires. But then you use the rocket, you make it to the second stage. All right. So the gimmick with this stage is that, well, the gimmick with this part is that it's strong winds, and and it's meaning that they'll push you back. So just be careful. Well, if you're a first timer and don't know the spin dash trick, then you're gonna have quite a bit of trouble. But you can easily just spin dash and bypass this level. However, don't bum rush it here, or otherwise that will happen. So don't worry, don't worry. I I think I only die here once. I don't have to worry. Well, I almost died here. Actually, actually, I don't know if you die there. I think you just get, I think you just get pushed into like the crack. I like, hope. Hey, but considering in so Sonic Adventures collision detection, you'll probably just clip right through it. it but yeah, you obviously just want to run along and jump whenever these platforms fall because once those platforms fall, they obviously create a bottomless pit. So watch out for that. And in this section, you have to fire a rocket at the at the cannon. And this way, you'll proceed to the final part or the stage. Each, uh, I just automatic. If you're like right near the cannon, you'll just Sonic will automatically just grab onto the cannon. And I really hate that, so I have to. Bam! And now we're on the third part. And the gimmick with this part is that well, the ship is the ship is tilted. It, there's even one point. The ship is tilting thanks to a certain someone, and that's actually go that's actually tilting the stage. Stage no matter, matter what. But let's not talk about, about that until we get to that. Also, as you saw, I'm I'm guessing that was a huge homage like Choo Choo Rocket. Yeah, another Sega franchise. Is but yeah, we're just on the finals part. If you know shortcuts like me, you'll get through it fast. And if you don't fail like that, you're gonna. And if you fail like that, you're actually gonna move slower. I actually tried to launch myself off to the other side, but I by a homing attack on the capsule instead. Now watch, watch me. See. I actually performed the shortcut that I didn't know I could do before. I think I, I may have clipped right through, through the through the walkway, a thus giving me the shortcut. I'm clip I'm clipping through a lot of things in this playthrough. Like it's not even funny. I don't know. That's never happened to me before ever. Like I said in Speed Highway. But watch this. Watch this. What happened? What happened? I'm pretty sure I was far away from the hook, from the hook section. But instead, I just grab onto the hook by accident. And further proof that the DX X version of Sonic Adventure One just adds glitches, is in terms of gameplay. But then I tried to do a shortcut just to get to the roboticizer, but unfortunately, there's it's there's an invisible wall, so I can't really get to it. It, so I have to go through. Here, hoping that I don't lock onto the hook. Do I make it? Do I make it? Do I make it? Good. And that was Sky Deck for you. Never. Those things have never happened to me before, ever. I'm discovering a lot of things in this LP. I test run this stage before. Her, and it's never happened. I don't get that. Well, I, I guess it goes to the terms discover discover new things every day, huh? This section's kind of pointless, though. So. Oh, really? Because you just go back out. But anyway, next time and we go next time we play Sonic Adventure, or we are gonna uh, meet up with Amy and stop Eggman once and for all. Hopefully, so I'm Game Man Five Eight Zero Four. And you guys, 
I don't want this to be like part three, but... And you guys, have a great day.